Hey, what's up guys? It's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel if you're returning. Welcome if you're new. I am a part-time reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot. And today I'm going to share with you part two of my Michigan bins haul. So I spent a couple of weeks up in Michigan. I live in Atlanta, Georgia now, but I am from the Metro Detroit area. And I went home to visit some friends and family and um, we drove. So I was able to do a significant amount of thrifting while I was there. And one thing that they have in Michigan that they don't have here, and it is the Salvation Army by the Pound outlet store, which I guess the Metro Detroit area has only one of a couple in the whole country. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, definitely stick around. Uh, also make sure you're subscribed if you want to see my future reseller videos. I do post a few times a week. Drop this video a like if you find this fun and helpful. And I am gonna dive right into this bins haul. So this is by the pound, just kind of like the Goodwill bins. I think it was $1.19 per pound if you purchased more than 20 pounds. Um, and I did post part one. I'll link it down below and I'll link it up here. Um, they're only open like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I was able to go two days. So this is from the second day. I picked up 49 pounds worth of stuff and two pairs of shoes. So let me show you what I got. And this is um, no particular order here. This is JM Collection and it's just a basic kind of blouse it was new with tag um so this i probably will put either in a whatnot auction or send to thread up so basically the plan is to list some of it to put some of it on whatnot auctions and probably to send a little bit of it to thread up um everything i got all together and i will end up doing one more haul of sweaters and tops that i bought at the regular thrift store but it's just overwhelming i have like almost 250 pieces so um yeah i i can't simply list it all i just i just can't i have way too much stuff now so so this is wild fox and it's the white label it's really cute it's a really lightweight sweater that says dream um, I might list that. That's going to be kind of dependent on comps. This is a... This is a Lucky brand. It's a flowy button front blouse. Super cute. That'll probably go in my summer whatnot auction. I've got uh, several auctions coming up depending on when you're watching this. I'm gonna do a summer show, a $1 show, a plus size show, a men's show. So I'll link down below my whatnot if you wanna bookmark it, if you're on whatnot. If you are not already on whatnot, that's a lot of knots. Um, <laughs> you can get a $10 credit to shop either with me or anybody you want if you use the link below to make it a whatnot account. Um, this is a, uh, it's apartment nine, but it is a cashmere sweater and it's brand new with tags. The retail price is 125. Now we know with Kohl's, nothing is the actual retail price, but still for being cashmere, it checked out. I didn't see any flaws or anything. So I figured for the bins, that was a good pickup. This was a fun find. This is the brand Page. And it's kind of a silky, it's not silk, but it is a silky, like shiny, I think it's polyester, like button front top. Still not sure what I want to do with that. I kind of want to list it, but stuff that's plain black like that doesn't photograph super well. So I might just put that on whatnot. This is a Madewell flowy green tie front blouse. It's like a chiffon. It's really sheer. That's super cute. I might list that one. This one was interesting. I have to look up comps on this, but I feel like this might be a really good find. It is Disney Parks, which I've never been to Disney, but I'm pretty sure the Disney Parks merchandise is only sold inside Disney Parks. And it is an ugly Christmas sweater. So it's got these like Mickey ornaments and candy canes, and uh, it's a size large. It's really thick. It seems like it's pretty good quality. So I'll have to see if that is worth listing. I know that um, I've heard lots of people talk about Disney Parks merchandise being like uh, super like, I guess, sought after or like easy to sell. 
I must not find the right stuff. I've tried picking up a few Disney Parks things in the past that kind of just sit for me. So I guess hopefully that's a little different. This is a Torrid blouse, size zero. So it's just like a popover. It's a little wrinkly from being in the bag. But um, this, I'm either gonna keep, I might keep this for myself, to be honest. Um, a Torrid zero fits me pretty well. Um, if I don't, it'll go in my plus size auction or whatnot show. This is a Dan Skin Now, and it's a, like a pull uh, a sweatshirt. And this is a sold at like Target, I think, or I don't know, maybe Wal oh, it's a Walmart. But um, I'll either put this in my plus size show or my loungewear show and start it at a dollar. This dress. So I don't think this is any sort of like brand name, um, probably like a boutique brand, if anything. Ouges, your guess is as good as mine on this pronunciation, guys, but it is brand new with tags. Uh, it's a size large and it's this gorgeous maxi dress. It's got a really pretty print. Um, and I found this at the bins. So I'm gonna try it on. I, this very well may fit me as well. Um, I don't really have anywhere to wear it to, but I don't know that it's actually have, I don't know that it has really any like resale value. So I'll have to see on that one. Again, this stuff came from the bins. My total, um, cost per item when you average it out was like less than a dollar. So no big deal if it doesn't fit me. Um, uh, this is a running jacket, like a windbreaker. It's neon yellow. And the brand is Brooks, which is a great running shoe brand. I'm not sure how their um, athletic wear line or sells, but I guess we will find out. Here's more Disney. This is so cute. Uh, this is Disney Parks again. And it's a Mickey Mouse tank top. It's a size uh, XXL, extra large, but it's very, very big in my opinion for an extra large so i might put this in my plus size show or i might list it again i have to figure out what's worth listing here um, based on comps this is super cute and of course you know from the bins cost me next to nothing the brand is carhartt which is a great brand um, carhartt is headquartered in michigan so we have a lot of carhartt up there um, this is like a hooded pop over top like a, a sun protector top, but it's got the hunting camo on the trim. Super cute. It's got the Carhartt logo down the arm. Love it. This I debated picking up, but I grabbed it anyway because, you know, the bins. So it's like a long sport coat. The brand is Sean John. It is new with tag. Um, I don't do great with men's blazers, but Generally speaking, the ones that I've picked up in the past have sold, not for a ton, but they've sold. Uh, it's a 2XL and the uh, MSRP is $165. So even if I get like $30 or $40 for it, I would be absolutely happy um, because again, <laughs> I paid less than a dollar. This is Eddie Bauer and it's a floral button front top and Eddie Bauer does pretty good for me on thread up and because this was so like flowy and weighs next to nothing I did grab those um this is another piece that'll go in my thread up box Lauren Ralph Lauren it's just a floral like three-quarter sleeve top size large uh, another brand that does pretty well for me on thread up these next couple pieces don't judge me all I picked these up because they were the bins and because this brand does okay on thread up still, at least last time I checked. LuLaRoe. So this is the Julia dress size medium. And the pattern I think is not too crazy out there, right? Um, medium's a decent size and it was the bins. So I grabbed it. Um, I, I have listed a few LuLaRoe pieces myself that have come in mystery boxes. It's not really selling, but um, this, that piece and this piece, I think have a shot. Uh, so if I'm wrong, I didn't take that much of a risk, I guess. This is a size small. It is the Joy. And this is like a 
like a duster vest. So it's got like a slit and then it's got the floral print, long like layering piece. This has got to be, it's like knee length. So whatever, if it doesn't sell. This is another piece that'll go to thread up. It's Chico's, which does pretty well up for me on there, size zero. And this is a um, like leopard print or zebra print, not leopard print, zebra print, uh, cardigan, lightweight. That'll be a good fall transition piece. This is Lafayette 148 and it is a, a blazer jacket. And I actually found the matching pants, but I left them because the pants did not say Lafayette 148 on them at all. And I figured there was no brand, no size, no real indication if I threw it all in the same box that the person who opened the box would know that they went together. And I figured it was a high chance of them not accepting it and I would lose them anyway. And just, I didn't want to bring them home and take the chance. So I just grabbed the jacket. Um, it is definitely, I don't know if it's vintage. To me, it's vintage. Yeah, it says made in New York, USA. So th this is definitely vintage. Um, and Lafayette 148 is a brand that the real real accepts, but it's gonna go to thread up instead. This will go to thread up too. This is Banana Republic, Italian yarn, sweater. Really nice, actually. Um, I tried it on, it, it fits me, but I don't really like the way it fits me. Oh, and I noticed there's a little hole here. Um, I'll send it to thread up anyway. And if they don't accept it, they don't accept it. This was a fun find. Um, probably one of my favorites of the day. Um, this is Mizzoni Sport and I'm guessing this is vintage as well, just by looking at it, but check that out. Um, it's like that Chanel fabric. Um, and it's really thick and warm. So I'm probably going to list this myself at least do some research on it. It does say made in Italy, so it's hopefully something good. Um, this bins location, and I, I've really only been to a Goodwill bins one time and I didn't really like it because I'm used to the Salvation Army bins. Um, I don't think it's all like unsold merchandise from the retail stores. I think that's some of it. But the second day that I went, I got there when they first opened and there were just garbage bags laying on all the tables and everybody just ran in the door and started ripping through the garbage bags, which tells me that was merchandise that never made it into the regular retail store. That was fresh. And I got to one of the bags and I ripped it open and that Missoni jacket was in there. So I can only imagine what other people probably found that day, but that was my lucky find i guess uh, and i think it's really cool that they do that and for those who say that there's not enough stuff to go around when literally they have to put unsorted merchandise in the bins because they couldn't get to them all in the retail stores there you have it uh anyway off my soapbox and back to we're gonna do it looks like pants now um, these are Lane Bryant, size 22, um, tighter tummy, high rise, skinny, and these are a, like a gray wash. I am doing a plus size whatnot auction, so those will go in, in that auction. Lucky Brand, which I love picking up Lucky Brand men's jeans. These are a 36 by 32, 367 vintage boot. I'm probably going to list those myself. These are Justice, like cargo leggings, size 10. Those, uh, I don't know, I, I might do a kid's auction, but I feel like probably not, so I'll end up listing those, even if I get a couple bucks on Kidizen or something. Uh, these are Joe's. Skinny ankle jeans, size 28. These will probably go to thread up. Um, Joe's jeans and Seven for All Mankind, and there's one other brand. Maybe it's Lucky Brand. Women's do really well, and they end up selling for way higher than I ever get on Poshmark or eBay. They sell higher on thread up. I don't know why. Like I can have a pair of Joe's jeans sit here for a year 
and I can send it to ThreadUp and still get like a decent payout. I don't know why. Um, but you guys might know this. I use my ThreadUp credits. So I send stuff to ThreadUp. I use my credits to buy mystery boxes that I can open for you guys and also to, um, you know, like replenish my inventory, move stale stuff out. So um, ThreadUp had a little issue for a couple years and I had to stop doing that, but I have plenty of labels again and I can start it up again. So those, long story short, will go to ThreadUp. Uh, here's some more Carhartt jeans. These are men's relaxed fit, size 42 by 30. So these I definitely will list myself. Carhartt jeans do very well on eBay. These are Joe's jeans again. Um, these say boot cut, but they were cut into Bermuda shorts. So these I'm going to put in my summer whatnot auction. These were a fun find, and I'm not real sure what I have yet, to be honest. Uh, I have to look these up, but these are... Derek Lamb, 10 Crosby, which I've never found before. And I found these at the bins. So they are this like black flare. They're real stretchy, um, high-waisted. I have to look and see what these even are because I have no idea, but I'm probably gonna list those myself. Again, I would send to the real real, however, not today. Um, and then American Eagle, there's a few pair. Um, my tried and true, if I find them at the bins, I absolutely will pick them up. These are a high rise jegging size four. And you know, I had to be super picky about what I brought with me. And uh, just cause you know, I, I only had limited space in the car and you should have seen the back of our SUV. Like it was piled full. We weren't, I even packed a thread up box thinking I was, and I printed a label. Um, at my mom's thinking I was gonna like have to send some of it right to thread up, but I ended up not having to so uh, But it was close. So imagine if I wasn't if I lived there and I could shop there often and I didn't have to be quite so picky Oh my gosh, the store is crazy. So anyway, this is a pair of skinny four regular American Eagle These are Lucky Brand again, size 36. And I don't know what they are. Vintage Street, Vintage Street 36. I will list those myself. These are Lucky Brand again. These are like a pink, pink color, size two, ankle, Ava Skinny. These, I think, for the sake of not working myself to death, will go to thread up. These I can't believe I found at the bins either. Look, Levi's Rib Cage Street Button Fly High Rise Jeans. How were these even at the bins, right? Size 28 by 27. I am definitely listing these myself. Hopefully, Hopefully like those and one other thing here will pay for like the whole entire trip. These are BKE Jake jeans. And if you find BKE men's jeans, I highly suggest looking at them, uh, looking up comms. You're probably gonna wanna pick them up if you can find them cheap enough. Even if they're not in the greatest shape, which these are in decent shape, but BKE men's jeans sell so fast for me. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for those. I've got a pair of American Eagle high rise jegging size 12. These are like a dark green color. More American Eagle six long high rise skinny jeans. These are a little bit of an older style, but I find that the older styles still sell pretty well. I'm going kind of fast guys. I want to not be here all day. Um, so if you're still here, thank you. Drop me a like, I appreciate you. I love picking up the 524 Levi's, the two super low. I've been picking these up since the beginning of my reseller career and they're like the one tried and true style that still sell like crazy for whatever reason. These are the bootcut ones, um, size five short and I absolutely are going to list these myself. They will 100% guaranteed be a quick sale. I've got these Boston Proper, which I don't know too much about this brand. I've sold it a few times. 
it does sell um but i've heard they have like a cult like following this brand i'm probably just gonna send these to thread up um there's nothing real special about them they're just like knit like pont legging pants so i'm probably not gonna worry about those this was a fun find this is a vintage pendleton it is made in the usa size eight petite virgin wool jacket i'm probably gonna list this myself these are adidas I don't know if they are men's or women's, to be honest. I'm gonna say they're probably women's. Women's size medium, if I had to guess, or maybe men's, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, somebody told me check the pockets if they're deep. Oh, uh, these are pretty deep. Maybe they're men's. Uh, okay, well, TBD, but these will go in my active wear whatnot auction. <laughs> Uh, which is, hap that'll be the first one that happens. Honestly, that one will probably happen before this video goes live, but I'll definitely be doing more. This is a beautiful tiered maxi skirt. So gorgeous. I think I might actually keep this for myself. It's a size extra large and it is, of course, LuLaRoe, but this is pretty. I've never seen LuLaRoe. Now, mind you, I, I never followed LuLaRoe when LuLaRoe was a thing, so I really am not familiar with their styles too much, but this is a really pretty maxi skirt, and um, I like it, so I might keep it, but if not, I'll probably list that. I think that might actually be worth listing. It's, it's that pretty. These are some high rise. There's no belt, but they've got the paper bag waist. They're listed as mom shorts, American Eagle size six. I'm probably gonna put these in my summer whatnot auction. These are fun, like cropped chambray pants. Chico size two, too short. These I'm probably gonna send a thread up. I, I might keep put these in my whatnot auction. I don't know. I feel like, what's the demand on whatnot for Chico's? I'm not real sure. This was a fun find and I'm kind of sad. There's a little stain on it. I'm gonna wash it and see if I can get it out. This is, I don't know what this brand is, Hikes. And it's this like denim looking quilted patchwork flag star vest. Um, I didn't notice the stains or I probably wouldn't have picked it up. Uh, but there is a stain right there on the the bottom. I did run comps quickly on eBay for this, and they were running about twenty to thirty dollars, um, which is why I decided to grab it. Um, hopefully, the stains come out. All right, we're almost there, guys. Um, this stuff I I pulled out for the active wear auction, so I'll show you quickly. Uh, this is a Prana. It's an older style Prana, but it is a tank top. Actually, I might list that because older style Prana sells really quickly for me for some reason. So I might save that to list. These are Adidas size small running shorts. I love the pattern and from the bins, these cost next to nothing. This is... Livy Active, which I think is Lane Bryant's active line. So I might save this one for the plus size auction. In fact, I think I will. The uh, size 1416, and it's like a mesh tank top. Yeah, I think we're gonna save that one for the plus size auction. Then I've got some Eddie Bauer leggings. These are like ankle leggings or tights, tights, leggings. Workout gear. Got a pair of Nike extra large, like running shorts. Then these are Nike dry fit. These are a boys, yeah, boys size large. Um, I think I'm still gonna put these in a in the whatnot auction. They probably would fit a women's extra small. 
So I'll put those in the whatnot auction. Um, this is the brand Roxy. I think I'm going to save these for the summer auction because these are like board shorts for women. Um, but I love the pattern on these two. Great, great pattern. And then these are pink Victoria's Secret. I found a ton of Victoria's Secret pink at the bins and I don't typically, um, I don't typically pick up Victoria's Secret pink, but it was also cheap. I just had to. And probably one of my favorite finds of the, uh, of the bins trip. And I always hear people get excited to find this at the bins. I've never found it at the bins. I hardly even ever find this brand at a regular thrift store, but there they were for my taking. Lululemon, and these are a high-waisted, long length. Uh, I don't know if these are the Wonder Unders or the Align Tights, I have to figure it out, but um, they are the leopard print, size two. Very excited to find these. I think I'm gonna put these in the whatnot auction because why not? Uh, okay, we're almost done, guys. A couple more things, a couple random things I picked up. Um, I've got some bras. I don't pick up a ton of bras either at regular thrifting, but lightweight. Um, and I was super picky. I found a lot more, but I didn't want to pick up too many. Um, only the ones in the best condition. So this is Cacique, which is a 46D. That is the Lane Bryant Intimates line. And it is an unlined lacy teal underwire bra. Here's another, um... This is an underwire, more of like a full coverage bra. Also Cacique, I think, yep. And this is a 44, 44 triple D. This one looks like it's maybe worn once, like this one's nearly new. And one more bra. This is the brand Wacol, W-A-C-O-A-L. I think it's good size 38C. I've heard people talk about this brand, but this weighs like like two ounces. It's so lightweight. I'll give it a shot. Um, so there's those. I did pick up this Kenneth Cole Reaction wallet. I found this like hanging out in one of the bins and the bags and wallets and stuff are just like the same by the pound. So this, I mean, cost me nothing. Um, it, but it looks like new. I mean, there's no signs of wear on this at all. Um, I checked in the inside. Uh, maybe like maybe there was a pen in here or something. I don't know. It's it's really like I would call it like new because it doesn't. There's no no signs of wear on that. I did pick up two pair of shoes. I did not go through the shoes. These are really just shoes that were like in the bins because. Uh, you know, when people rip open those bags, if there happens to be shoes in with the clothes, they end up in the bins. There are designated like sh bins for shoes, but only if they are already like pre-sorted in the pallets into shoes. But anyway, um, I got these. These are Nike Re Reax Run, R-E-A-X. Reax Run, they're a size 10. Um, there's a little bit of spotting right there, but otherwise they really don't need any cleaning. They're pretty good shape and they're a size 10 they're my size so I might end up with these myself anyway if they fit um, all the shoes were three dollars at my bins um, and then I picked up these these are fun these are Helly Hansen snow boots and uh, Helly Hansen's a pretty expensive um, winter brand so I was excited to find these actually I think I grabbed these out of a bin I'm not supposed to be in that they yell at you if you get caught looking through the ones that aren't out yet like they're out on the floor but they haven't been dumped into the bin yet so but they were just right on top and I saw both of them and so I just reached in and grabbed them and no one really saw me um and I got this most randomest thing uh it is this pig it is cozy hugs microwavable aromatherapy animal and he's a little bit heavy he's probably a little over a pound but he's brand new and he was comping I think like $25 or so. Um, that was an easy pickup and I just threw it in with the rest of the stuff. So that's the whole haul. If you're still here, you're a champ. Um, 
I don't know when's the next time I'm gonna get back there because it had to be on a weekend when I was in Michigan and it had to be when I drove so I could bring the stuff home. Um, so once in a lifetime trip, I want, it's the first time I've been there since I moved almost three years ago now. So um, yeah, I'm excited to flip some of this stuff quickly on whatnot. I'm excited to list some of it and kind of beef up my inventory for fall. So again, if you're interested in my whatnot shows, check my link down below and um, join me. I'm totally loving doing these live auctions and giving my viewers a good deal on stuff and it's helping me flip inventory quick. Um, and stay tuned. Also, make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell. I am gonna show you a whole haul of stuff I got at the regular Salvation Army Thrift Store on their dollar day. I got a lot of sweaters and stuff that I'm stocking up for fall. So make sure you tune in for that. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I will catch you in the next one.